Hello everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video on my channel. Today I'm going to be playing some Napoleon Total War on Pyrenees Peak as the Russians against the French. Uh, unfortunately I had to restart the recording because I'm an idiot and forgot to uh, set the game capture to Napoleon Total War. But uh, it should be good now. It looked like it was capturing on my uh, OBS screen. So here we got the Russians. They, they look pretty cool. Um, they're gamers, I think. I mean, yeah, they're gamers for sure. <sighs> so I'm gonna be making... Um, I'm gonna be making a realistic battle line here. It's sort of based off more the French system than the Russian system. I don't frankly know what the Russian system was. But I'm using the French one. So, um... Russian or French system basically you got here you get your four four line companies uh, on the left you'll have one or uh, it's actually right it's actually right it's a uh, one grenadier company and to the left you've got one uh, one light company slash skirmishers, which is what I'm using here because Russian Napoleon Total War doesn't have skirmishers for whatever reason or uh, light infantry. And then you take the other four, do the same thing. Four line companies, one grenadier company. Trying to figure out which is okay. That's the one. All right, uh, one, one uh, light company. Probably should space them out a little bit more. That way we don't have everybody in one place. I'm gonna put all my artillery in one battery battery on this hill uh, in between the two armies, which means we're going to have to move this line actually further to the right. And just like that. Except I don't know what I did with my Grenadier company. There they are. Okay. Grenadiers, and then I'm just gonna have the cavalry kind of hedging Hedging the edges of both sides. I've got mounted rifles and um, Lifeguard horse, okay So Basically, I'm just gonna move these guys halfway up the map Pretty standard I'd say pretty standard for uh, Napoleon total war at the middle, we're going to have our artillery company sit on this hill, or two artillery batteries, rather. Uh, let's see, we're going to have the this bit of infantry, we're going to send them also halfway up. So, about on line with the artillery, basically. We're going to advance them a little bit ahead, though, that way all the troops on the hill are actually on the hill, and not on the back slope. So about there. Then we're just gonna have our cav and uh, situate themselves around this town, maybe. Uh, same for the other side. About at this crossroads, we'll say. We're gonna have our general staff. Uh, we're gonna have our general staff. Uh, let's go right here. That'll leave the right side a little bit less morale strong but i'm not really worried about it uh, i'm probably gonna just order my whole deck to run that way we can reach the advantageous position better f quicker than the french um i mean i hope this is recording because yes um <laughs> i don't have a better reason actually but uh, the the reason is yes um I don't really know what to talk about at this point. I've kind of exhausted everything I could talk about. Um, 
This is not very standard for me in this game, honestly. Usually I just do stupid stuff and it works, so... The AI in this game is not very hard to fight. Definitely not very hard to beat. Not even on Expert, which is what I'm playing now. Which is kind of a shame. I think it'll be harder with the French, because they have better troops than some of the other nations I usually fight, but... French have actually the best troops in the game with their old guard. That's okay though. Thing in this game is most of the major nations like Russia, uh, Prussia, uh, Ra Great Britain and France, they all have pretty good stuff and then the, the nations with the bad stuff are like Sweden, Spain, oh. I had no idea that the mounted rifles could fire on horseback. I didn't think they could. That's a shame. I'm gonna kinda be aggressive here because I know their infantry is worse on this side. Oh, that is interesting. They sent their old guard over here. They sent all their good units over here, except for this clump of National Guard here. I'm actually gonna hold off on that then. I'm gonna leave my cavalry back. We're gonna need a lot of faith in this side to uh, win the day. This side is where the skirmishers are. That's a, sh that's a shame because I was hoping they were on the other side. Well, that's okay. I've got Cav to deal with the skirmishers. However, they have set stakes. I do have the, uh, the mounted rifles, which hopefully will do me some good. It's interesting to me that um, I guess the mounted rifles is kind of the replacement for um, any sort of light infantry troop in for Russia because they don't have one. So I guess they just decided, well, we'll give Russia a kind of good cavalry unit to uh, give them a chance to have actually good uh, to be able to skirmish. Which is usually what you use light infantry for. Skirmishers aren't, like, riflemen aren't as good as light infantry because they have less... Oh god. Well, why did you run into the stake? The game, the game's pathfinding AI is not very good. Now you can charge them. Try not to run into the... They somehow bumped through the stakes, that's funny. So yeah, the cavalry is not going to last very much longer, I think. Oh, 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 stop, stop, stop. Stop yourself. Check yourself before you shrek yourself. Do not run into the- I swear to god. Do not run into the stakes, buh. Oh, buh. Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. Looks like they're gonna charge into the fusil fusiliers of line by accident. Or about half of them will. I wonder where their general staff is. Oh, it looks like we're engaged over here. Old guard, guard and general are staying back it seems, which is probably a good choice for them. They've also got their general on this side, so that means their old guard will be lasting a good, a good while. Looks like my skirmishers aren't going to be much of use, but that's okay. That's actually a better thing than having them being of use. I'm going to order these, the artillery to fire uh, canister shots so they can better deal with the close-up infantry. My cavalry is not doing a very good job of taking care of what they a I asked them to take care of. The other cavalry unit has completely broken off. It seems like what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have to take the right side's troops and shift them left because uh, the right has not taken nearly as many casualties as the left has.
I'm gonna engage my skirmishers against the old guard here. Just because breaking them at this point is kind of paramount importance. It's probably not a very good idea to have those guys charge, but I'm gonna do it. Famous last words, by the way. It's pretty much a suicide charge, unless they survive somehow. Which would be pretty funny, honestly, I think. Yeah, the, the left flank is screwed compared to the right one. The right one was mostly light infantry, so I'm not really surprised by that either. Which means I'm going to shift the line infantry and grenadiers over here. Kind of... Actually, I'm just going to take the whole, the whole line formation. And I'm just going to shift them like this. Kind of have them catch anything that's running from that direction and stuff. Mm. Yeah, the left flank is kind of screwed at the moment, unfortunately. Taking a lot of casualties. Actually, I don't just need these guys to shift and kind of do their stupid thing. I need them to get over here now. I don't really care about this. Oh, that's a whole Fusiliers of Line Company. Oh, that's okay. We can leave them alone for now. We can leave them alone for now. Not entirely sure what these guys are firing at. Not exactly sure what they could fire at. Oh, crap. Being approached by the Fusiliers of Line will be taken care of by our Yeagers, so, so not too worried about that. Oh, 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 oh no. This battle might have just turned rotten. Because there the cavalry go charging our friggin... our skirmishers. This is not good. I think I overestimated the usefulness of this uh, French strategy, so to speak. Because I wouldn't say this battle is going well right now. Yeah, this battle is not going very well now. Sadly. I may be able to turn it in my favor though. Actually, 
I don't know what's going on at this point. I don't know if it's in my favor or out of my favor. Balance of power says it's in my favor, so I'm going to go with that. I'm not really sure why my general staff is doing that. Please get out of the general area of those grenadiers of line. Thank you. Wouldn't it be funny if I killed their general guys? I think it would be funny. Oh, I got him. <laughs> GG. The game the, the game's over now, basically. Once I kill their general, it's over. So, uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, the vi the game is basically over now. If I kill their general, it's basically over, which I did, which I did. As you can see, they break a lot faster when I do that. Thanks to that factor, game should be over pretty soon. Actually, video should be over soon. Pretty so uh, yeah, video should be over pretty soon. So long as this unit breaks, which is just grenadiers, should go down quickly enough. Okay, there goes that grenadiers unit, and looks like the game's over. Yeah. Yep. Pretty quick here. Yep, okay. Well, the game's over. Uh, I won the battle. Thanks for watching the YouTube video and goodbye.